After several days of being tied up, Tandy began to suffer and asked for a little help from his friends, where he asked for a glass of water that he desperately needed. Then an angel named Melissa came and brought a bottle of mineral water, and Tandy immediately thanked her. But instead of helping, Melissa actually made things worse because she left the bottle of water in Tandy's hands that he couldn't reach. Finally, Tandy could only waste the water by trying to pour it into his mouth hoping that a few drops would land in his mouth. Then Phil approached Tandy carrying a pistol. He threatened Tandy for all sorts of things. But it turned out to be just a bluff that Phil did because last night, Tandy did the same thing to everyone. Because Tandy couldn't bear to be tied up continuously, Carol finally negotiated back the punishment that would be given to Tandy. Phil suggested that Tandy should be in isolation for a week. But Tandy refused because he thought the punishment was too long. He asked to be confined for only two to three days. But that couldn't be refused. And if Tandy refused, he would be tied up again. Because he couldn't do anything, finally Tandy surrendered and he was isolated in a room temporarily. After Tandy was confined, Todd, Melissa, and Carol enjoyed homemade cheese made by Todd using their cow's milk. Where Melissa and Carol enjoyed every bite of the cheese. In the distance, Tandy could only watch his friends enjoying the food that they rarely got. But at night, when everyone was asleep, Tandy dared to leave his isolation room and went straight to the dining table to eat the remaining cheese there. Initially, Tandy had to argue with himself because he wanted to remain obedient to the punishment given to him so that he could reunite as before. But due to his hunger, Tandy had to break the punishment, not far from the dining table. Melissa was seen reading her favorite book, because she was worried about being caught. Tandy slowly backed away from the dining table and immediately returned to isolation. But Tandy was apparently having a stroke of bad luck because he bumped into one of the musical instruments which immediately made a sound. Finally, Melissa screamed that Tandy broke the punishment. Because Tandy broke the rules, everyone agreed to add punishment to Tandy. And the punishment Tandy had to receive was that he had to wear an electric necklace just like the one they put on the cows. Where if Tandy crossed the safe limit of the necklace, then Tandy would be shocked by the electric current flowing through the necklace. Tandy accepted the punishment gracefully because he admitted his mistake and was ready to undergo additional punishment. The next day, Tandy tried to be friendly by greeting everyone who just woke up from their sleep. But the steps Tandy took actually worsened his punishment because Melissa said she would add punishment to Tandy. Namely, he was forbidden to speak for a while. Because he didn't want to be judged by others, Tandy took the initiative to ask Carol to buy him a new necklace. Where the necklace was a voice detector necklace that would release lemongrass fluid. If Tandy spoke, then the fluid would spray by itself. When Tandy tried it, it turned out that the necklace worked well and made Tandy reluctant to speak. The next day, Tandy began to get used to the punishment he received. Where Tandy really lowered his voice volume, so that the spraying necklace didn't release its fluid. Then suddenly Melissa approached Tandy carrying a bucket containing beer. It made Tandy even more tempted. He asked for the beer, but Melissa actually put it beyond the boundaries that Tandy couldn't reach. Finally, all day he tried to reach the beer. But Tandy actually worsened his punishment again when he damaged some pots to take one bucket of beer. Todd was very angry when he found out Tandy had damaged Gordon's pots. But Carol tried to defend Tandy by asking her friends to listen to his explanation first. Because he didn't want to make a sound, finally Tandy acted out what he was doing. But it became a joke. Because people thought Tandy was doing a charade. Everyone guessed Tandy very messily. No one could guess what Tandy was mimicking. Until finally, when Todd and Phil were tired of everything Tandy did. Phil made an innovation where he finally locked Tandy in a cage so that he couldn't do anything. At night, when Tandy was asleep, he suddenly heard something and when Tandy checked out. Apparently, the fire hit one of the walls in Gordon's house. He tried to scream, but his efforts were in vain because the spraying necklace continued to release its fluid. Finally, because no one was aware of what was happening, Tandy ignored the electric shock, ignored the pepper spray to stop the fire. He immediately got out of the cage, took the bucket, and tried to stop the fire. When he tried to stop the fire, Tandy had to endure the pain he had to get from the necklace that tied him up. Then after the fire was extinguished, Tandy returned to his cage. And the next day, people found that the wall was burnt. There they began to blame each other. But no one wanted to admit until they asked Tandy. Assisted by Carol, Tandy acted out if when he was asleep. He suddenly heard something, and it turned out that what he heard was a blazing fire. Because people were asleep, he tried to stop the fire, even though he had to be shocked. He continued to insist on stopping the fire until finally, the fire went out and he returned to his cage. 
Thanks to his heroic act, everyone agreed to stop punishing Tandy, and he was finally released. And the last scene in this episode shows Todd sneaking away in the night to a room with a very happy face. One day after Tandy was released, he tried to blend in again by entertaining his friends. However, Tandy's efforts were in vain because everyone was focused on a cricket sound they had just heard. Finally, with their spirits up, they all searched for the cricket and collected it to be made into a meal. But when the crickets were collected and processed into food, Carol actually turned them into a bowl of cricket soup that made everyone very queasy. But Carol tried to convince them that the soup she made was very delicious, she demonstrated by eating it. And Carol seemed to enjoy the dish very much, even when the crickets she cooked were still alive. Because he didn't want to disappoint Carol, Tandy joined in and pretended to say that Carol's cooking was very delicious. The next day, Tandy tried to find crickets again to be made into their dinner, but hoped that Gail would be the one to cook them, as everyone knew she was a chef. While Tandy was looking for crickets, he suddenly saw Todd coming out of a very strange room. Curious, Tandy entered the room without Todd's knowledge. And when Tandy entered the room, he saw a refrigerator and a freezer unit containing. After knowing Todd's secret, Tandy tried to trap him. When Todd returned to the room, Tandy followed him and caught him trying to open the freezer. Then Tandy asked about Todd's secret room, which had electricity and a freezer containing fresh frozen meat. Knowing Todd's secret, Tandy tried to threaten him by saying he would report the incident to everyone. Then he ran out and Todd panicked and tried to chase him. But when Tandy got out, he actually went back in and asked Todd to cook for him. Finally, the two of them enjoyed the smoked meat that they hadn't eaten for years. They continued to do it repeatedly. Even Todd and Tandy never wanted to eat insects which they now made into their food. But disaster struck when their stock of smoked meat began to run out. Then Tandy had the idea of giving the rest of their smoked meat stock to everyone. They did this so as not to arouse suspicion among their friends. But Todd refused, saying he didn't want to share the meat he found with people. Because he didn't want to be greedy, finally Tandy took the initiative to clean up all the evidence, threw it into the sea. And the next day, Gail suddenly screamed because she found some smoked meat neatly wrapped with the words from Todd. Thanks to the discovery, Todd was considered a hero because they could finally eat delicious food other than Carol's cricket dishes. But the title of hero for Todd didn't last long because they suddenly saw some garbage coming back from the sea. Then they checked the garbage, which made Tandy panic. He tried to clean up every piece of smoked meat plastic trashy hit, but it was too late until Melissa found out the truth. Then Todd admitted that he was the one who found the smoked meat. He claimed he didn't want to share it with people because he felt it was very rare and he admitted he was greedy. Not wanting Todd to be blamed alone, Tandy did the same thing. Where he blamed himself too because he didn't report the incident. The two of them apologized for what they had just done. Feeling they had to be punished, finally Tandy and Todd had to face the guillotine punishment together. Because Todd had misbehaved, it strained his relationship with Melissa even further, as Melissa kept bringing up the smoked meat Todd had hidden. But to avoid any conflict, Tandy tried to change their conversation topic by discussing the worsening gasoline condition on Earth. Actually, Phil had explained this condition where gasoline would only last for three years, while diesel would only last one or two years longer than gasoline. And this is why he had to say they should leave Malibu as soon as possible and find another place. Because they didn't want to keep moving around, especially since Gail still cherished her memories with Gordon, everyone rejected the idea. And the situation worsened when Carol began to link it to her plan to have a child. Finally, Gail provoked all the women to say they were happy in Malibu and would never go anywhere. Tired of all the situations, Phil finally decided to part ways with them and began looking for a new place. He hoped everyone could live without him feeling like he was the only one doing all the work. Because Phil decided to leave. The next day, Tandy started trying to take over the role Phil left behind where he tried to make solar panels so they could live safer and more comfortably in Malibu. Wanting to thank Tandy for his service, Todd helped him make the solar panels. But Todd's presence actually didn't produce anything, because they messed up when they couldn't control the electricity flow. Then the scene shifted to Carol, who wanted to campaign for all women to have children, where she showed her painting depicting Melissa and Todd's future child. Seeing Carol's painting made Melissa more convinced that she would never want to have a child, especially with Todd. Back to Todd and Tandy trying to conquer the electricity flow. The two of them wanted to prove that they could live without Phil. But after trying for so long, Tandy and Todd still couldn't stop the electricity flow. Until finally, with a heavy heart and embarrassment, Tandy approached Phil who was in the neighboring house to ask for his help. But Phil refused with the excuse that he was busy. 
Annoyed because Phil didn't want to help him, Tandy provoked Phil by saying Phil was not worthy of Carol. Therefore, Carol chose him to be her husband. Hearing Tandy's taunts made Phil quite emotional. He immediately hit Tandy, which made everyone gather. Seeing Tandy beaten up made people hate Phil even more. They came up with an idea to punish Phil. But Phil refused the punishment and chose to go to his room. But feeling Phil had to be punished. They continued to chase him and hold Phil accountable. As minimal as possible, he had to be restrained. But Phil still didn't want the punishment and didn't care about anyone. He even said he didn't regret hitting Tandy, which he should have done a long time ago. Because Phil was stubborn, they had to reluctantly work together to stop the electricity flow. When they were just staring at the electricity flowing on its own, Phil suddenly came and immediately became a hero for them, where he approached the electricity flow and began to stop its flow by turning off the on-off button. It's that simple, but Todd and Tandy couldn't do it. After the electricity went out, Phil approached everyone and said something. Phil explained that he had decided to go to Canada and leave everyone to find a better life. He quickly packed his things and got ready to leave. Just before Phil left, he suddenly talked to Carol about the feelings he had been holding back. Even Phil confessed his love to Carol and invited her to stay with him and follow him to Canada. When Phil said that, the situation changed 180 degrees when Erica suddenly spoke up if she was pregnant with Phil's child. That is, Erica is currently pregnant. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth Season 2 on Part 6. Like, comment, and subscribe so I will soon make a recap of Part 7 for The Last Man on Earth. Thank you for watching.